Welcome back to Whipping in the Kitchen with Noni. I hope you guys are ready for this wonderful meal. It is another breakfast meal today, guys. We're gonna be doing breakfast burritos. Let's start reviewing some of those ingredients. Alrighty, so your first ingredient that you're gonna need for our lovely burrito, a wrap or tortilla depending on how big or small you want your burrito. You're also going to need an egg or two depending on how much protein you want. And if you're vegetarian, I would say you can try black beans as a substitute. You could also go for a lovely red onion because who doesn't love red onions and it just screams burrito. Next, avocado. I also would suggest about a fourth one fourth cup of corn. I also have some lettuce because I like a nice variety in my burrito. The last two ingredients, sour cream and shredded cheese, yum. <laughs> so you can make it your own, you can season it on your own, but I'll tell you mine, of course. I think that everybody's breakfast burrito should have its own personal touch. Here is my uh, season list that I'm choosing to use, okay? I'll be using garlic powder, chili powder, but specifically uh, Mexican chili, chili powder. <laughs> and last but not least, salt and pepper. So if you have it, it's okay. If you don't, just scroll through your seasoning cabinet or just use simple salt and pepper. It's gonna taste delicious either way, all right? So let's stop. Let's go wash our hands. Alrighty guys, so I'm done washing my hands. I am ready to cook. Are you guys ready? We will talk about our cool quiz later on. So just let's start cooking because I'm really ready for some breakfast, okay? Let's get started. Alrighty, so you should have washed all your fresh produce. I already did a pre-cut because I was starting to get excited. <laughs> so when you're cutting your avocado, you wanna cut it a long way and really make sure you slice through until you hit the seed. And then you're gonna do a nice little twist and you're gonna see the lovely meat of your avocado. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I still have this ready to go. And next we're gonna cut our onion. So I like to do it into thin slices this way. So first I'm going to cut down the middle. So, you're not going to need the whole thing. So, I'm going to put one side away for later and access the other side and start thinly chopping. Before I do that, I like to cut off the butt end and the top end. Just throw that out. Cut, cut the other side and throw that one out because you don't need it. And then we're gonna thinly slice. You see what those lines are? Those are like your guides. So I'm gonna thinly slice. So I think this is enough for one person. Yeah, I think this is enough. So we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna go into the next part. I have a little small bowl. Got my egg, my protein, but those that want to use black beans, you can too. It will taste equally good. I'm gonna crack open my egg and prepare it. You can either use a whisk or a fork to whisk or rather stir your egg until it's combined. Wonderful, so. Let's get our pan heated up and we'll start cooking some things. 
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna shake up my little spray oil and spray it into the pan. I'm gonna turn my fire on. And I'll put it on medium low. So a happy medium between mm, three and four. So it's not too hot, but just enough. So I like to cook my eggs last because for me, it seems like the eggs cool so fast that it gets too cold and I don't want cold eggs in my hot burrito. So I am going to cook the onions first so they can get nice and soft. Then I'm gonna throw in the corn and then I will be throwing in the egg last. And to make it easier, it'll be all in one pan. All right, so I'm gonna put in the onions first. And I'll have to cook this around maybe like two to three minutes. And make sure you separate them before you put it in. Don't put your hands into a hot pan, all right? Let's fast forward this thing. Alrighty, let's add in the corn next. <laughs> I lost some corn on my, uh, my little uh, wrap. <laughs> So here's your quiz. Which major city brought burritos into the United States of America? Was it New York City? Was it Chicago? Was it Los Angeles? Who knows? But we'll find out at the end of this meal. So let's continue cooking. So now I'm gonna add in my egg because I like to cook mine, my corn just a, enough so it's a tad brown, just a tad. And here's where I'll be adding in my seasoning. I'm gonna spray it one more time. My cooking spray. And here we go. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Not too much. Pepper. I'm gonna add some of my Mexican hot chili powder for flavoring and garlic because garlic tastes good with everything. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna stir this up because we wanna have it incorporated with the rest of the corn and the onions. Right, I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes and then we'll be ready to assemble. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. Mm. So it is ready to be plated and to be assembled. You can put your tortilla or your wrap into the microwave with a wet hand towel. Put your microwave on for about like maybe 30 seconds so it can heat up. And then it'll be nice and soft and and it'll be warm and it'll be ready so you guys can assemble your burritos together. All right, so my tortilla is warm. I'm, I'm going to do my first portion of my assembly, which is my cheese. I'm gonna use half or at least three fourths of it. So when I am finished, I can top off everything with cheese. I'm next gonna do part Meat, onions, and corn. So if you used black beans, beans, onions, and corn, right? I'm gonna use some lettuce. If you haven't already, cut your avocado up. And lay those beautiful slices on your tortilla wrap. And then I would cycle on through until it is kind of layered up. So I'm gonna do the same layering. I'm gonna go a little bit backwards. And then top it off with some cheese. So this looks lovely. If you can just smell the aroma from my kitchen right now, mmm, so good. Now, I can show you guys how I do step by step to make it into a burrito. Step one, 
gonna push everything in as best as you can. Then do the same on the other side. Push it in as much as you can on the other side. Then you're going to flip it so you have one side available or close by to your hands. You're going to flip up and then you're going to do the same on the other side. Now the key is to heat it up, let the pan still be a little bit warm, get your spray on, and then you're placing your pan this side where your flaps are down. Give it out like max five minutes and then you'll be set. You'll be able to eat your burrito. Alrighty, so this is how it looks on the other side. And I'm gonna cut it open and then I'm gonna serve up and eat. Look at how pretty that looks. So I really, 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 really hope you enjoyed. Now let's get back to that final question for our quiz, all right? Let's see who got it right. So the answer is letter C, Los Angeles. That was the major city that was, um, where it was brought to America. In 1930, it was brought to El Chopo Spanish Cafe in Los Angeles. So you're listening to it literally every day. <laughs> so eat up, make sure you're ready for school. Have an awesome, awesome, great day. Bye, foodies.